All right, guys. So right here we have kicker. We have two sets of six and a half speakers. The product will be in the description down below. So we have for the front and the rear, and then we have the brackets for the front and the rear. And then we have the plug and play adapters. And then we have the interior removal kit from Crutchfield. So all this will be in the description down below. So let's get to it. It's 110 right now in California where I live. So it's hot and it's 5 p.m. So here how it looks. Pretty nice. Now I'm not too familiar with speakers, but th this speaker will be linked down in the description to tell you more about it. But yeah, so here's the plate that goes over it. Got two of them for the rear and two for the front. So let's unbox that two front. Well, one on front right now. Let's do both. And put that to the side. And we'll take off the door panel. Got the hardware right there. And I went through Crutchfield ordering it. And it came with a diagram on how to uninstall the, the door panel. So I also got tools for that. And they are somewhere right here. There they are. So I got tools to take off the door panel. Also, I have my knife too, because that bag is super thick. Coolio. All right, let's look at the instructions on how to take out the door panel of my 2018 Nissan Titan 4x4 SV, if that matters for the car. But yeah, let's check it out. So <clears throat> this sucks doing that part. So took off the piece. That was so simple with my knife. Okay. These are supposed to be popping the, the panels off or I don't know why I bought that. I'm gonna return that. But go to step two, move the muscle, the weather mat in here. So let me try this before again. Got the two rubber pieces removed. There's a ten. There's a ten millimeter. And ten millimeter. Instructions say: Figure one, remove. Figure two, remove. Pull that off. Remove. Remove. Okay. So I'm gonna do one and two right now. So I got my ten on my drill. Those two are removed. Step three, pull option switch panel. Pry options release clips, disconnect the wiring harness. All right, so there is a wiring harness right here, as you guys see. I'm gonna disconnect that. Question is, there it is. Coolio, that's disconnected. So we'll go to four. Tens.
Got those right there. Next. Remove two ten mm screws exposed by removal power options with switch panel. Pry the sides of the bottom door of the door panel to release eleven clips. It doesn't tell you exactly where the, the clips are. There's one. I heard the noise. I think that's gonna be the hardest thing. Putting this stuff back in the clips. use the bend one now because up here this off or I can just place it to the side and I work from it right there which that's what I'll probably do because it'll be easier I'm guessing let me go get a chair all right so the reason why I'm switching out the speakers is because this speaker is blown now it rattles and it's I didn't want to, I don't know if, if I had a blown speaker. I never had a blown speaker before. So I didn't want to leave it on. So I just have the, the sound to the front and yeah. So we'll disconnect it right here if I can. Yeah, I'll probably use a screwdriver, but we'll take this off and then we'll see what we need to put it in. So far, the hardest part was taking the door off the panels. So far guys, so far. Let me disconnect it. Cool. Disconnected. And let's take it off. Got the three there. I didn't get it on camera, that was a bad angle, but let's see. There's that speaker. So. There's the new one, there's the old one. Let's go to the back. Magnet. Look at that baby magnet compared to this baby magnet. So, 
the speakers the kicker have good reviews so let's check it out still so let me see which bracket i need to install it with so on the instructions <clears throat> it says for rear speakers right here so front speaker we'll go check this out i'll take a picture of this too front speakers so it has nissan right here and there's no titan for front speaker so that means this is for the rear this one for the rear we'll go to the rear specification it says nissan we'll go down to titan it says 2017 online it said 2018 now i don't know if they didn't update it but let me see just in case because i believe it's the same Check that out. So we'll place this over there. Just so we got that little dose. Those dose. Okay, okay. <laughs> that lines up, that lines up, and that lines up. Cool. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna drill this piece in to the wall. All of them are in. Ah! Bro, oh, you gotta be kidding me. standing upwards so there's a big one and a small one so the big one goes to the fatty Go which way So, I'm going to drill a hole so the screw can go in. Okay, that's one.
that's installed. Nice plug and play. And now we're gonna put the door back on. All right, so we did the back already. So I did the one side on camera, the other side off camera because the camera started to get hot because of how hot it was today. I waited two hours, so it's seven o'clock now to start the front. So hopefully the camera doesn't get hot. If it does, I'll just only do one side. But we're gonna do the same installation. We're gonna take off the door panel and we'll go step by step. Okay, so these are the speakers for the front. They are the same as the rear. So I'm not gonna use these because I don't know how big this is gonna be inside the door. So we'll take these two caps off when I install them. We're not using this either. Put this and this into the door. One in one. Okay. Now let's look at the instructions on what to take off, guys. Okay. Track in. So inside the door, right here take off this and take off that there's a 10 millimeter 10 millimeter should I be doing this in the dark no am I doing this in the dark yes why because I want it done okay those are off right here, two 10 millimeters. One. Got two. So I have a chair right here because the next step is to ply the 11 clips off from the bottom. So I'm gonna set it on the chair and then hopefully I can do it right there. So I am gonna be taking off this clip. That's the speaker one. So we're going to use these bolts for the next bracket. One, two, three, four. Ooh, it's stuck on. Ooh. There's the old one. So I am going to drill a hole into my metal. Cool. Go back to the bolt. Cool. Now, so next, I'm gonna make sure that these two ports are at the top because how short this is. So I'm gonna line this up and I'm gonna drill holes where those two match actually. Oh, they match. So I'm gonna have to drill holes. So let's see actually. 
You put this down. So right here, there's a big one and a small one. So this one goes to the big one, the fat one. Push it on. Then you have the skinny one. It goes into the skinny one. Plug and play, guys. So the 2018 Nissan Titan. Everything will be linked in the description down below. So it's good and tight. Let's plug this in right here. Does it go this way? Nope, it goes the other way. So we're going to push that back. Boom, it's in. Now we just put it back on. Damn, that's dope. All right, we'll see how it sounds right now. All right, I started at, let me turn the AC off. All right, I started at 5 p.m., did the two rear speakers in, in the back. And then I went inside and I made a dinner. Came back outside, did the driver's side, and then I did the right side. So each door took about 10 to 15 minutes. Super easy. I'm so happy I got the instructions. And let's see how everything is at equal treble and bass, all right? So I'll put the song in the link in the description also that I'm using. But right now it's at 19, the volume's at 19. So let's see, go 20 now. It's a good volume setting. You can hear it. Now I don't know if the camera's gonna do justice. So let's go raise the bass. The treble right there, where I like to have it. Let's see how peak volume is. I know it's late already, so I don't know if we should do that, but let's see. There was no distortion no distortion in it whatsoever awesome 100 percent love these speakers um i can't wait to install my kicker subwoofer which i've had in my my wrx my forerunner and now i'm gonna, probably gonna have it in the titan just got to figure out where i'm gonna put it and how i'm gonna install it so if it's easy as this i'm gonna do it if it's not i'll have someone do it for me but i'm gonna try it first <laughs> um i have the subwoofer i just need to amp and the the amp kit to install it all right guys if you guys like this video please like and subscribe and i'll see you guys on the next one peace